Hey y'all, let's take a look at percents that are greater than 100%. Ooh, intimidating, huh? Nothing's intimidating when it has to do with Chick-fil-A, so let's do something like that. Let's go do an oldie first, okay? 60% of the 80 ducks ate lunch at Chick-fil-A. How many ducks ate at Chick-fil-A? Well, again, don't forget, there, we, we, we're trying to figure out ways to like create a sentence out of this. Then we're taking that sentence and we're translating it into you know, a, uh, uh, an equation. So 60% of the 80 ducks, and how many duck law? So the question you're asking is, okay, what is 60% of 80? In other words, what is 60% of 80? That's your question. You translate that into an equation. What X is equals 60%, you know, 0.6 of multiply 80. There you go. Boom. And you do the arithmetic and it's 48. That's all you need to do. Okay, let's try another one. If, uh, excuse me, the turkeys needed 120% of the seats at Chick-fil-A. If they, there were 80 seats at Chick-fil-A, how many turkeys needed seats? Well, think about what question you're asking. They need 120%, there are 80 seats. You're gonna go, what is 120% of 80? I got it, so what? is 120% and you can go like this if you want to do a fraction 120% 120 over 100 right of multiply 80 got it okay that's my answer right you can chop off zeros if you want there's some zeros you can chop off and look there's one on top and then one on bottom and chop that off too oh wait that's the only thing that's left is 12 times 8 right so 96 you got it there you go the hard part again is going, what is my question I'm asking? And this one is like, what is 120% of 80? And there you go. Okay. Let's try two methods to do things. Let's try this problem, which is this 210% of 50 is what number? Okay. And they'll write it out for you. In fact, look at that. Isn't that easier? You got it. Okay. I'm going to show you two methods, same two methods we've been talking about before. Okay. 210% of 50 is what number? So let's go write the algebraic equation. In fact, why don't you go ahead right now and take this sentence and go left to right and create an equation out of it. Pause this and then come back in a second when you unpause it. All right, 210%, you know, you could go 210 over 100, right? Don't make this confusing. 93% is 93 over 100. 71% 71 is 71 over 100. 210% is 210 over 100, okay. Of 50, of 50 times 50 is equals what number? X, yoink, there we go. Now let's start chopping zeros. There is some zeros to chop. There is a chop, chop. And then 21 times five, 20 times five is 100. 21 times five is 105, there we go, we got it. That's the first method, in other words, taking that sentence, change it into an algebraic equation, all right? Method two, it's the fraction equals fraction. That's all. So we don't even think about this. We go blue equals, uh, okay, that's it. 210, you got, in other words, how many, you tell me how many blanks do we need to fill? Okay, let's do it, all right? There's something we can stick in there. There's something we can stick in there. And there's something we can stick in there. And this is nice because 210%, that's two numbers, look. 210, boom, boom. The only question is, where should the 50 go and where should the X go? Uh, uh, uh. Here's how you solve this problem, okay? If they say 210% of 50, is that more than 50 or less than 50? It's more, right? So the X you're looking for, or the number you're looking for, is the bigger number. On this fraction, the bigger number is on the top. So let's match it, bigger number goes on top. 50 goes on bottom, okay? You can chop off the zeros on this. Don't do it over here, but you can do it that way if you'd like to. If you don't, don't, okay? We got 100 times X is 100X, okay, all right. 210 times 50, mm, 21 times five, that's what I'm looking at. 20 times five is 100. 21 times five is 105, and then one, two zeros, one, two zeros. Okay, so we got 100x, 
Oh, look, we got two zeros, chop, two zeros, chop. Gee, I, I, that seems so vaguely familiar. X is 105. Oh, yeah, okay. Either one of those methods, use them, do it. Whatever one, which I'd kind of make sure maybe you, you know how to do both of them, just in case you ever run into anything that you need to use one method over the other. But if one of them works, just use it, man. Okay, all right. What percent of 40 is 60? Let's do that. Write an algebraic equation, right? Pause this thing. Don't forget what, what percent is, okay? Give me an equation, pause it, and go ahead and write your equation. Okay. What percent is x over 100? Of 40 times 40 is 60 equals 60, okay? And yeah, I hate that thing over there, so I'm just going to write 40 times x, or just, you know, like this, and then do 100 there, and 100 times 1, and then x like this. That equals 60. If you want to chop, chop, you can do that if you want to, you know, or just, let's just pretend you didn't see it. We know how to get rid of this fraction of 40 over 100. We go 100 over 40, right? Okay, gone, gone. And okay, let's start choppy chopping here now. Um, I don't know, there's one on top and there's one on bottom. Um, 6 times 100 is 600 divided by 4. Well, on the heck with that. Let's just do 600 divided by 2. That's 300. Now let's do that again. 300 divided by 2 is 150. Boom, there you go. Is 60 150% of 40? 100% of 40 is 40. 50% of 40 is 20. So 40 plus 20. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's do it the other way. All right, equal ratios. You, you, there we go. Okay, we got the numbers, right? What percent? We got a 40 and we got a 60. Okay, what percent? Piece of cake. X there, 100 there. And which one goes where? Now, again, the question is, is this number we're looking for bigger than 100 or smaller than 100%? What percent of 40 is 60? You go 60. Wait, that's more than 100% of 40. Like, because 40 is 100% of 40, but 60 is more than 100% of 40, so that's a bigger number. Okay, that, so that's, that's the bigger number on top. So let's see, I'm going to copy that. Bigger numbers on top over here. 60 over 40, got it. X times 40, 40 X. 60 times 100, six times one, and then one, two, three zeros. Choppy chop. Let's see here, four X equals 600. Why does that sound familiar? Hmm, okay. Same thing, so 150%. There you go, that's it, okay. Let's try another one. You tell, you pause it, you turn that top sentence into an equation. Pause it and do it, okay. 150%, 150% of what number, of what number, is 300, is 300. There you go, dollars to it, 150%. You can, you know, reduce this anytime you want. It'll be three over two if you did that. 50 goes into both of those. But I mean, let's just say you didn't do it, okay? You know what to multiply by, right? You go, okay, I'm multiplying this by 100 over 150, the reciprocal, that's gone. Okay, well let's just ch chop it here. There's a zero right there, that chops, and then mm, I guess that's about it, huh? Okay, well 300 times 10 is 3,000, divided by one times 15. Well 15 goes into 30 twice, you got two more zeros, and there you go, okay? 150% of what number? 200. Is 300? Yep, sure is, okay? Method, the second method, you could just go, okay, forget it. Fraction equals fraction. Let's see, 150%, what number? 300. Okay, 150%, I got that. That's 150, and there's 100. Okay, so 150% of some number is 300. Now, wait a minute, which will, be not, which will be bigger? The number I'm looking for or the 300? Wait, 300 is 150% of that number, so the 300 is going to be bigger, so that's going to be on top. And this number I'm looking for is going to be on bottom. So 150 times x, and 3 times 1 is 3. And we got 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. And then chop off a 0 there. So I got 15x is equal to 3,000. And again, same old answer is 200, and that's it. You got it. So either one, of those, either one of those methods is fine. Okay, do one more here. Jane saw that today cupcakes cost 120% of what they did two years ago. What does a cupcake that was 60 cents two years ago cost today? Okay, well, in other words, 
the question you're asking, you, you tell me, what's the sentence question you're asking? Pause it. If, pause it for a second and think about the sentence question you're asking. Okay. She's looking and going, cup papes are 120% of what they used to be. They used to be 60 cents. The question I'm asking is, what is 120% of 60? That's it. What is 120% of 60? There we go. That's it. And you can chop here, and you can go, oop, chop there. And you got 12 times 6, that's 72. There you go. Okay. The other method, don't forget, you can just go oop equals oop like that. And you got 120%, you got 60, and you got what? Right? So 120%, that's your, you know, two of those. Okay, you're looking for a, a number that is bigger than 60 cents. The bigger number is on top here, so the bigger number goes there. So do that, cross multiply, you got the same answer. Okay. All right. Try page 244. We've got three problems. Give those a whirl. Pause it and try um, A. Okay. 300% of 45 is what number? I'm just going to go left to right and do the uh, algebraic equation. So 300%, 300% of 45 is what number? Okay. You might look at this and go, wait a minute. 300 divided by 100, that's just 3. 3 times 45, that's all I'm doing. The answer is 135. There you go. Okay. You could have also done this. A fraction equals fraction. 300 over 100. I'm looking for a bigger number than 45. So the bigger number I'm looking for is x. 45 is on the bottom. And you got it. Okay. Pause it and try b. Okay. This is a little trickier. 140% um, of some number is 364. So the number is less than 364 because 140% of that, more of that number will be 364. Okay, so the number you got should be less than 364. Okay, let's try it. So 140%, 140% of what number, we can just go like this, is 364. There you go. We got it. Okay, so 360, we can just chop this down. Let's let's chop down this. So 14 over 10, wait a minute, that's gonna that's another one. So that'd be seven over five, right? So to get rid of this, we need to multiply by five over seven, right? Okay, so we can do that. And let's just go x is equal this over seven. And again, you if you wanted to cut this down, you could. You don't have to. Um, let's just go, let's just say you didn't. You go 364 times 5, that'll be 1,820. And divided by 7 will give you 260. There we go. Okay. If you did the other way, you could go, okay, fraction equals fraction. 140%, 140 over 100. What number is 364? Okay, 364 is the bigger number. So I'm putting my X down here in the bottom. And there you go. Okay. Pause it and try C. That'll be our last one for today. All right, 80 is what percent of 20? Don't make, don't get cute. Don't worry about it. Just, you know what? I'm just going to do the first way, the fraction equals fraction way, okay? You got 80, you got what percent? That's 2, and you got 20. What percent is X over 100? Okay, well, 80, is it going to be less than 100% or more than 100% of 20? I mean, 80 is way more than 100% of 20, right? Because 20 is 100% of 20. 80 is way more than 100. So this is a bigger number on top going to be more than 100%. So to match that, the bigger number, 80, will also be on the top of the smaller number, 20. There you go. So let's do it. 20 times x is equal to 80 times 100. So 8 times 1 is 8. Then 1, 2, 3, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. Chop there, chop there. I got 2 times some number is 800. And of course, that number is going to be 400. There you go. Okay. If you wanted to do it the other way, 80 is equals what percent x over 100 of 20 times 20 okay and then you can make this 20 times the x on top and then 100 on the bottom and then put the x in the middle and then kind of switch you know flip it over equals 80 then you just multiply by you know uh, 100 over 20 take you know 100 over 20 and then that's it and then you know 
chop off that if you want to. 80 times 10 is 8,000. And then divide by 20, same thing. Boom, there you go. Okay. All right, knock those out. Get good at percents. Get these methods down. Use one or the other. Take turns until you feel like you got them both down. You can kind of you know, use one method if you want to. Okay, see you guys next time. Take care.